Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. Alright, so this is probably the first clip of the video, considering I haven't actually recorded anything yet. But we got some battle stars from Seracnus, and I've eye out this one here. We get ourselves 72 magic. Uh, it snuck its way in there. Glad I noticed I was going to get that level. Uh, we're currently on 1,221 kills. So we've done 21 kills so far. And uh, we've got two grubby keys here to use. And I'm just going to get back to squishing this spider a little bit more. Number eight, ladies and gentlemen. I've got nothing left to say. Get out of my face. Well, that's another week of Saratness done. Guess it's back to normal progress. Psst. Hey. I hear you're looking for some nature runes. Have you tried necromancy? Even necromancy won't revive my dead content. No, 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 no. I mean necromancers. I hear they have loads of them. Oh, really? Tell you what. I'll hook you up. Head over to the rune shop in Archaeus, and my girl Theria will sort you out with some runes. And then what? Then meet me in the Lovakenge pub. I'll show you from there. Hey, uh, Theria? Someone told me that you could hook me up? One mil? That's a lot. I guess it's worth it though. Thanks. I think. Now what? Follow me. Guys down there with the antlers, you see them? They're the ones you want. Slaughter them and collect your well deserved natures. If you need me, I'll be at Banshees. Alright, well, thanks for the. Oh, they're gone. Well, better get to it. <sighs> Can't believe that guy. What an idiot. Can't believe it either. Easy money, eh, Theria? Don't worry about it. He won't be a problem. Okay, now that's that all sorted. We actually went and grabbed ourselves 30... Sorry, 10,000. I don't know why I said 30,000. 10,000 casts of Fireball. It's because I've got 30,000 air runes, so I just got confused for a second. I've also got an extra 100 air runes, and this is for Telegraph, but we've got ourselves 30... Again, 10,000 casts of Fireball to use on Necromancers, and that's going to be pretty much what I'm doing for a while. Uh, we'll give us a lot of magic XP, some magic levels, which will be nice, hopefully. To at least get one, I think, with these runes. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to start killing, and the next clip may be a magic level. So, update on the previous clip. Um, I did already record this, but I was recording the wrong screen, so whoops. Um... I was going to do a clip at 100 to say that we still didn't have any nature runes, but we managed to get a nature rune drop on kill number 99. We are now on 101. Uh, I've just realized that the other recording was scuffed, so uh, 
yeah. This method is supposed to be better than this, by the way. I don't want it to seem like it's absolutely terrible because I've been killing these for like two hours now and I've had ten nature runes, which is five gnats an hour. And let's be honest, that's absolutely abysmal. But I don't know what my RNG is like at the moment. I don't know why it's so bad. I honestly couldn't tell you. But yeah, that's pretty much where we are right now. So I'm going to spend the rest of these runes killing necromancers and we'll just have to see where we finish up. If it carries on like this, I'm going to have hardly any nature runes. In fact, I'm going to finish with 50. Because <laughs> that just means 10 runes every 2,000 casts. I really hope it improves, but anyway. I completely forgot this was coming in, but 73 magic. Um, we've had a few more nature runes, actually, today. Uh, we've had 25, which is what we had in the entirety of last time we did this. Which I believe was like 2.8 thousand runes. Yeah, it's a bit of a ridiculous amount, but yeah, 73 magic. There we have 74 magic. We can now teleport others to Lumbridge, apparently. Um, I'm trying to do Temporals on the other account, so I am clicking off at the moment. Uh, we still have 3,760 uh, cast left. And we've gained a few more nature runes from the last time, but honestly, it's still pretty bad. I think I've only gained about 200 at best from this so far. Which makes it really bad considering I've been doing this for about three days now. Uh, it's it's definitely not as good as the frogs method I was doing before. Uh, but the magic XP is nice because uh, one more magic level and we'll hit the minimum that I want to have before starting raid. So that's a really good thing to have. And just in general, having magic levels really nice. I don't really need to train ranged as much as I am. Ranged was just the most efficient way to do things. Uh, I have to hop a lot for this. Um, so it's really nice that I get to use magic for this. I guess I could use magic on frogs, but I feel like range is just quicker, so I don't. Anyway, we're going to be carrying on killing the necromancer, who is fairly awkward to kill, and is not giving me many nature runes. I will say, though, we are getting plenty of lore runes. Onwards. And that is going to be 75 magic. That actually unlocks Fire Wave, which is the minimum... That I wanted for raids. I am obviously going to be trading more magic, but having 75 is massive. That gives us fire wave for raids, and we actually only have 115 casts left, so we're going to finish these up and see how many more nature runes we can get. So, unfortunately, we couldn't manage to get this last kill, um, but we have finished now, and I bought an extra 100 air runes, so we have done 63 um, telekinetic grabs, so that is quite a decent amount. Most of them were lore runes, I've got to be honest, I didn't actually get that many natures. I have been here for almost an entire week, like in terms of, um, like in between Seratnus and this, this is all I've done for the whole week basically. And I've gained approximately 350 natures. I, I, I don't understand, like, this isn't a great method, I don't understand. But, anyway, um, with that said... It is now time for Seracnus again, so we're going to re-gear for that. But first, I need to go and have a word with someone. Hey you! Oi! You! Dodgy person in the earmuffs! Can I help you? You sold me a lie! You said necromancers would make me loads of nature runes! I spent over a mil on runes and barely got myself 300. I want my money back. Unless you have forgotten. You're an Iron Man. You can't trade. Right. I forgot about that. Well, I'm still annoyed. Be annoyed all you want. You won't get your money back. Screw this. Frogs were way better. Alright, so here we are. I am ill as anything, which is why my voice sounds weird. Apologies. Um, I'm making this clip because something that's about to sneak its way in. I can manage to get it here. I might even get it on the small ones. I messed up that lure. That's really annoying. This is really embarrassing to have on a video. Let me just take care of this real quick. I really wanted to get the level. Um, okay, we get it, please. Before I embarrass myself even more. Can I, can I get it please? There we go. Wait, I just... I already got it. It didn't come up. Anyway, yeah. So we just got 
93 strength. Um, I recently worked this out. I've gained nearly 3 million strength XP just from the boss since I started. Like, that's a pretty stupid amount. And like 800k hit points XP or something like that. It's a ridiculous amount. But, um, yeah, 93 strength, 96 combat. Slowly working our way towards 99 strength from doing this. Hopefully, we can uh, finish up here and won't be here for too much longer. Hey guys, guess what? 66 prayer. Thanks, Arachnus. I uh, I do love getting dragon bones from you. That is now six levels from Arachnus. Beautiful. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is actually going to be kill 1,350. We'll see if we get in this drop, and then I'll explain why I'm recording at this point. All right, so that's dragon bones. Um, still no cudgel. 1,350 kills. And the reason I'm recording here is because I'm actually going to change the way I'm doing this. Um, originally, I was doing 100 kills a week, but at this point, I've done over 1,000 kills. I've done 1,350, and I still haven't got the cudgel, and it's honestly taken a massive toll on me. I hate doing this now. I don't really want to be here anymore, and I don't like the idea of making content that I'm not enjoying. So what I'm going to be doing is reducing the amount of kills I do per week to 50, so you'll still have 100 kills in every episode, but it'll only be 50 kills per week. So, yeah, um, that is going to allow me to focus more on smithing and collecting nature runes, which is really beneficial for me. And I still will be doing Seracnus kills every week, um, a lot less, well, half, really. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much explaining why I'm at this point. And this will be the last of the Seracnus kills that you get in this episode. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Still no cudgel. We're doing this for way too long now, so we're just going to pace it out. Try to work, out, work on some other grinds that we're going to need to get done. And, yeah. So, next thing is I need to collect nature runes. I know I've been doing this consistently for weeks, but I need a lot. So I'm going to spend probably like the next six days just smashing out nature runes. I'm going to go and get myself 20,000 arrows, and we're going to camp there and get as much as we possibly can. Because once I finally hit 10,000, I'll be able to work on smithing, which would be really nice because I'm also planning to do chasing sets. I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous video. Um, I've contemplated it on stream, so I never really remember what I record anymore. Yeah, so we'll be working on some chasing sets at some point, which should save me a lot of nature runes. But 10,000 is the goal for now. Okay, so we once again have our magic shovel, as per usual. I am going to head over to Daisy real quick, and we are going to stock up on about 20,000 arrows. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the previous clip or not. Sorry if I'm repeating that. Yeah, 20,000 arrows, and we're going to pretty much just live at Frogs for the next six days or so. So hopefully, that gets us a lot of nature runes. Um, I have no idea what really I've put in this video, and I don't feel like it's that full of stuff. And I do apologize, I've been a bit unwell in the past week, so it's been... It's been a bit difficult to be playing RuneScape at the moment, but I'm going to try and get as much of this and in as I can. Let's go ahead and get ourselves all these bronze arrows. Alright, so we are here at the Shazian Archery Shop. Um, I'm going to be buying a thousand of these per world. I don't really care about how much it costs me. It's just way quicker to get it done like this. Um, there's no point buying any more expensive arrows than bronze because I can two hit the frogs anyway. So we're going to buy ourselves 10,000 arrows, but while I'm doing this, I just wanted to quickly mention... Um, that recently I created the Frogadiers official clan. So, if you guys are interested in that, I will be also advertising it in the Solar series next week. So if you watch both series, then you're going to see a repeat of this pretty much. Um, but this is going up sooner. So I thought I'd mention that the Frogadiers official clan has been made. If you would like to join, please uh, either pop yourself into the French chat and mention, or go onto Discord and mention, or simply you can go to World 350 and... Um, you can apply through the guest chat um, the clan name is Frogadiers, as it says down here so If you're interested in joining feel free uh, everyone is invited everyone is accepted So yeah, that's pretty much all of that. I uh, just wanted to mention about the clan to you guys So we are going to continue buying these it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna grab up all of these get 10,000 um, I'm then gonna go and sell the blood runes to a general store because there's actually not a specialist shop in Zaya for blood runes if you are gonna sit there and think oh I can sell it to the one in Arceus it's technically a general store so you actually only get the same 
um, amount for them, which sucks because obviously I'd love to have a specialist shop where I could get more for them, but I just get the same no matter where I sell it, any general store across the continent. So I'm just going to be dumping them. There's only 88 of them anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, that'll get me some more money, and then I'm probably going to try and fill up my invent with food. I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to be living over there for a while, and they do gradually whittle me down. But I do want to make sure I have some food on me. I've still got the sharks left over from Serranus, so that is handy. Anyway, I've rambled on for a while. I'm going to finish getting these arrows, and I'll see you guys at Frogs. All right, there we have 20,000 bronze arrows. I believe in the previous clip I might have actually said 10,000. I meant 20,000. Uh, I've just been doing 10,000 before, and I think I just got used to saying that. So, we're going to equip them, equip them, I believe the general store is over here, there it is, I'm just going to quickly head up there, sell these blood runes, and then we are going to make our way over to frogs, and just stay there for quite a few days, um, I'm not going to re be recording anything in the meantime, so I probably won't see you for a while. Okay, so we have actually been here for an entire week, um, unfortunately I've not done as much as I've wanted to. Uh, you can see I've got 5.9 thousand arrows left over, which is kind of upsetting because I really need to use these up before I go back to Seratinus, otherwise I'm wasting an invent slot, or I have to drop them, which is just a waste of arrows in general. Yeah, they're only bronze, but it still annoys me to have to drop things. Uh, the reason I haven't been able to do all of this is because, as I've mentioned before, I wasn't very well. Um, well, basically what happened was I was unwell for a few days, and then I recovered, and then I got ill again, and the second time it was really bad, so... I've not really been online. I took a day off streaming. Um, I've been pretty poorly, so uh, yeah, I've not really been playing that much. I'm trying to do as much as I can. I've been editing and stuff, so hopefully uh, this video can suffice for the week. Uh, we are nearly 90 ranged, which is pretty insane. I should manage to get this if I use up all these arrows. It should be pretty cool. Getting another 90 stat on the account. That will be our third 90 stat. Yeah, because we've got 99 fire making. 90 free strength and we'll have 90 ranged which is really nice but anyway this is probably the last you're going to see in this episode because it is friday and i need to get this video uploaded so i'm going to end this off here and then soon i'm going to head over to seracnus we'll get some more kills done another 50 and we'll probably be repeating this procedure because 2833 nature runes i want to get 10,000. If I can get 10,000, I think it sets me up for the smithing level that I want, which will allow me to make adamantite bolts, which would be amazing for the future of the account. And hopefully, this Ratnus grind doesn't go on forever, and therefore will be set up entirely for the future. With all that said though, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you all for watching, thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye guys!